Hey guys, my name is Kaushik and welcome back to Let Code. In this video, we're going to learn the uh, very easiest uh, searching technique called binary search. It's a technique which works on the divide and conquer approach. It is used to search for any element in a sorted array. The time complexity is O of log n. Uh, if you do not know about the time complexity or the space complexity, probably you can skip that part. I will cover that in upcoming videos. So let us understand with the very basic concept. So divide and conquer in the sense like first we have to find the mid and once we find the mid, we have to traverse through the left hand side or the right hand side of the array. For example, let's say that uh, x equal to uh, 89. Okay, so we are going to find the uh, 89 as our value the index we are going to get the index of this 89 now 89 is within the position of uh, index of 5 right so first of all we have to find the mid uh, so the formula is very simple we have to say like low plus high and by 2 okay so this is the formula so what is my low low is basically the 0 and high is my 8 correct so 0 plus 8 which is 8 and we have to divide by 2 so 2 for sir 8 and 4 is my mid now okay so the mid will be 4 now now if you see x is basically like 89 correct and the mid is 69 so of course 69 is lesser than 89 so do we have to traverse to the left or the right of course we have to go to the right right so if we have to traverse through the right hand side, then what we have to do is we have to make a change on the low and high. Now your low will become the previous mid plus one that is four plus one five and high is your eight the already like we have this value, right? So five plus eight by two that will become our mid now. Okay, so what is five plus eight 13 and by two, right? Two so 2 6 are 12 and we have a remainder of 1 okay so the new mid is now 6 so in the 6 what we have in the 6 we have like 100 now x is what 89 89 is lesser than 100 so if it's lesser than we have to traverse through the left hand side so if it's left hand side what we have to do we have to again find the mid and now here what will happen in the sense like uh, so low plus high by 2 is the formula correct so what is low low here is basically our phi and since we are traversing to the left hand side in this case we are traveling traveling uh, traversing through the right hand side so we have said like mid plus 1 now we have to go like mid minus 1 okay so that is 6 minus 1 which will be eventually 5 right so 5 plus 5 by 2 okay which is like uh, 10 by 2 and here it's like 5 okay so we got this mid as now 5 and x is 89 and we have found the value now of course we are traversing the left hand side and the right, right hand side and we are updating the mid and we are getting the value but of course we have to stop it right so if the array of mid equals to x then we'll just stop the execution okay so i hope you are able to understand the concept let me give you a quick recap one more time okay so we'll take the x and then we'll find the mid so if it's lesser than if x is lesser than mid we'll go to the left hand side where we have to say like uh, your low will be this value and here your high will be like uh, mid minus one and if it's going to be right hand side then we have to select mid plus one and you have to take the high value okay now let us understand the same in the code so i'm going to take the same array now let us write a function called binary search and as an argument we have to pass the array and then of course we need the low the high and the x value with the help of low and high we can find the mid right so to find the mid it's going to be very simple formula like we can say like low plus high by 2 okay but of course we know that in javascript this is going to return us in the decimal format we want that in a whole number so we'll say like math dot floor and then we'll use the same formula okay so we are able to find the mid now we have to write the condition so whenever we are going to use the recursion of course we have to know from where we have to get out of it so in our case in this example like when the array of mid and the x is going to be same we are going to get out right so here i can say like if 
array of mid equals to x then we can simply say like return the index that is nothing but the mid okay so for example let's say that we are going to find the 69 which is my mid of the array so if array of mid that is like 0 1 2 3 and 4 array of 4 uh, that is 69 and we are going to find the x that is also 69 so we'll just return okay but if not let's see how to traverse the left hand side or the right hand side okay okay now let us understand like whether we have to go to the left hand side or the right hand side okay so for that i'm going to write another if condition and here i'm going to say like if x is lesser than array of mid then what we'll do then we'll just simply call the binary search the recursive function again and here we have to pass our source array and then of course the low low is basically it's going to be the same the zeroth position but what will happen to your mid mid should be like your not the high value it should be like mid minus one okay and of course the x value that we are going to find find okay and in the else part we are going to say like return the same concept like binary search we are calling the recursive function again with the same array and here it should be like mid plus one and then it's going to be my high and then the x to find okay this is fine we are pretty much done with this algorithm okay let me explain you one more time okay so first of all we'll try to find the mid if the array of mid equals to the value that we are going to find we'll just simply return or else if the x okay let's let's consider that we are going to find the uh, let's write that okay so const i'm going to call the function and this is my original array and the low is first it will be like zero and the high is basically the length of the array minus one and x we are going to find let's say that we are going to find the 45 okay now let's log this so here i can say like found and some string concatenation like we can say like um x is in the index of this value okay now let's go and run this so here i am going to say like node then followed by binary search dot js okay so here you can see like we got the position is uh three in three we have this 45 okay so here we are checking for the mid this part is clear now this part let's focus okay so here x is what x is 45 and what is the mid mid is basically low plus high by two that will be like around uh yeah initially it will be like 69 that is the fourth position okay so in that time what we'll do we'll just take the low since we are traversing of course like x this is lesser than this one so of course we have to traverse through the left hand side so i'll call the same like low will be your zero and mid minus one is what the 69 minus this one that is fourth uh third one right so third one it will go to this one okay just to make it more easier to you i'm going to run this in the visualizer okay I will leave the link in the description you can check it out okay so here if i click on this next you can see like this is our initial array like 0 to 8 and the value we can see okay so first of all it is going to call this binary search uh, here you can see the red color arrow okay so first of all it will try to find the mid okay what is mid mid is basically my 4 which is like 69 and then we have this low which is 0 and high is 85 okay now what will happen it will check like array of mid array of mid is what 69 and the value we are going to find is 45 so of course this if condition won't be satisfied so it will go to this particular if condition right so if i click on next you can see like so here you can see like it is in the if condition now the mid is 4 and the x is 45 low and high we already know okay so is the condition satisfied yes the condition is satisfied because x is 45 and the mid value array of mid okay uh, don't go with the position you have to check with the value so 45 is lesser than 69 so it will come to this binary search now okay so recursive again we are going getting into the same function here again we will find the mid so mid is what mid is 1 now okay 1 is basically what 13 and the value we are going to find is the 45 so it will traverse to the right hand side so in this case what will happen it will not satisfied within the safe condition so it will go to the else part right so it will go to the else part now if you see the mid is basically like 2 and the low is become 2 and the high is 3 okay again the same the if condition won't be satisfied so it will go to the next one and x x is what x is basically our 45 
and array of mid right array of 2 is 23 okay is this matching no so it will again go to the else part so here we have the binary search it will go inside that again it will try to find the low and mid high right so what is low low is now 3 and high is also 3 and mid is also 3 okay in this scenario like array of mid and x both are same so it will just return the value okay in this way we will come out of the um, recursion okay so that's it and here you can see in the console log that uh, where is the console log yeah so the x is in in the index of 3 okay so that's it pretty much easy i hope you are able to understand the same code it's very easy actually uh, if you understood this concept it's very easy so first of all we'll find the mid value and then we'll check if the x is lesser than mid if it's lesser than mid we have to update the low and high so low will be your first element and your high will be mid minus one okay and if it's greater than same concept your low will become like mid plus one and your high will be the last index okay binary search always works if the given array is sorted or else it don't work and of course what will happen if i give something wrong for example let's say that we have given 44 which is not in the array right so if i try to run this it will throw me error okay so here you can see like maximum call stack size exit because the recursion is keeps on running we are not able to find the uh, uh, value right so it will just uh, call the stack size exit and it will throw an error right so to fix this what we can do is we can check like if low is lesser than high then we can say like return and we can simply say like uh, element not found something like that any message is fine okay in this case what will happen in the sense let me just run and show you you can see like we got the message like element not found okay so what is this basically low and height in the sense like let me console log that for you to understand low comma high okay now let's go and run one more time okay so here you can select basically the low is my zero and eight is my high okay so the value is not there so that's why like uh it's saying element not found let's say that we are going to find the 10 which is in the array and that will be in the position of uh sorry this should be like low is greater than high okay my bad let me run this one more time yeah so here you can select it's in the position of zero and here we are going to make this like 44 which is not in the array so now we can see like it will try to find like multiple like 0 8 low this is my low this is my high this is my low this is my high right and then in the final like when there is like 3 and 3 that is like it should be like this scenario right so if the value is same then we'll get that one but in our case the high is becoming the next one that is lower so we are saying like element not found okay so that's it pretty much very simple i think you can just execute and check uh, yourself if you have any queries feel free to ask me in the comment Tada, bye bye see you